there's something that a lot of people aren't talking about yet. It's not sharks and it's not riptides or jellyfish or or even what we've talked about before, you know, potentially carcinogenic sunscreens. Uh, mm -hmm. What we're talking about is pollution at the beach, which has actually become out of control. The EPA says that more than 3.5 million people in the U.S. get sick every year after coming into contact with raw sewage at the beach. The raw sewage can be in water that looks perfectly fine when you look at it. And this can be, you know, uh, ocean, it can be lakes. Uh, so even if you're living in the heartland, you're not escaping from it. Um, as I said, it can be in water that looks perfectly fine, but that water can be a bacterial nightmare. And that 3.5 million figure, and this is, the FDA says this, might be a gross underestimate. Because when mm. people get sick after swimming at the beach, they don't necessarily know it's because the water was toxic, which means they don't report mm -hmm. it. So they believe that that number could be much, much higher. Contamination usually happens after there's been a heavy rainfall, when untreated waste washes into storm drains, they empty right into the ocean. The rainfall can cause overflow at sewage treatment plants. Also, rivers and streams typically terminate by flowing into large bodies of water. As we know, large rivers and streams are often used for dumping waste. Uh, cities upstream often dump sewage in them. You get them downstream. Uh, but yes, yeah, sewage can actually come right into your favorite waiting spot. Mm -hmm. So that pretty place where the river meets the sea or meets the lake, it may be the most toxic location on the shore. It's the juncture where the stream dumps into the lake, toxic. So the rule of thumb, number one, is take your swim far away from the river stream empties into the body of water you're swimming in. Mm -hmm. Go to the other side. Now, it turns out, and let's talk about how widespread this is, um, the problem of beach pollution is it's, it's incredibly widespread, shockingly so. The number of polluted beaches across the U.S. is, is rising steadily. Uh, in 2011, the EPA basically um, issued a report that evaluated like 3,600 beaches, and they found that over 40% had been issued at least one warning for conditions that posed a risk to public health during the swim season. The year before, it was only, actually, it was 43%. The year before, it was only 37%. So you can see a significant increase just in one year.